Meghan Markle displayed signs of bewilderment, with clear hints of anger as she stayed on the defensive during a Women's Summit interview, claims a body language expert. Body language expert Judy James has given her interpretation of the subtle signals Meghan Markle displayed during her most powerful Women's Summit interview with Fortune editor Ellen McGirt. The Duchess of Sussex opted for a sit down chat with Fortune editor Ellen McGirt during Tuesday's most powerful Women's Summit, rather than deliver a lecture. She insisted she is not controversial, despite coming under fire last week for a video urging Americans to vote, and said, What ends up being inflammatory is people's interpretation. During the video interview, body language expert Judy James said Meghan put on a slightly defensive display with a misunderstood tone, drawing comparisons to her Tom Bradby interview last year. Meghan splays out on her sofa with her shirt sleeves rolled up to suggest she wants to get down to business and, as she says, be authentic here, continued Ms. James. The splaying and pit bearing looks confident and gently powerful, as does the preen gesture with her hair. While the very subtle lower jaw jut and a few sharp, accelerated blinks hint at some anger, although her tone overall signals bewilderment from a woman who tells us she has not been controversial in what she says in the past. Meghan emphasizes her emotional side again with the mention of tears and as she looks away dramatically to consider her thoughts as she speaks, it is the shaking of her head that suggests a sense of bewilderment or disbelief. The Duchess, addressing the summit virtually from the £11 million mansion she and Prince Harry bought in May, said the couple are throwing themselves into tackling hate speech and toxic behavior online. She said that allowing bullying and misinformation on social media is not sustainable and must be dealt with. The Duke and Duchess have called on advertisers to boycott networks, including Facebook, which allow hate speech. If the changes that are being made are in fact made, it's for the good of everyone, Facebook included, Meghan said. Meghan Markle has hit out at online trolls and said she enjoyed an amazing coronavirus lockdown in Los Angeles with Prince Harry during a talk at a £10,000 a head conference. Meghan, 39, spoke at Fortune's most powerful women's summit by video link. Saying the current coronavirus pandemic was forcing people to go through a reset. She said, For me, it's been amazing to spend time with my husband and watch our little one, son Archie, grow, and that's where our attention has been. In addition to, of course, how we can be a part of the change of energy that so many people are craving right now and whatever we can do to help in that capacity. She also said, Bots and trolls were changing the way people interacted with each other, both online and in person. The Duchess of Sussex, who has come under fire over her use of private jets while promoting environmental causes in the past, hit out at critics during the talk and said, Nothing I say is controversial. She told the audience, If you look back at anything that I've said, it's really interesting because what ends up being inflammatory it seems is people's interpretations of it. But if you listen to what I actually say, it's not controversial. And actually, some of it is just reactive to things that haven't happened, which, in some ways, I think you have to have a sense of humor about it, even though there is quite a lot of gravity and there can be a lot of danger in a misinterpretation of something that was never there to begin with. Megan also advised those watching to focus on living a purpose driven life, adding, don't listen to the noise. The ex Suits star spoke at the summit in a 15 minute slot with journalist Ellen McGirt. The exclusive online only conference cost £10,000 to attend. Meghan spoke about the Sussex's non profit organization Archewell, which she said aims to ensure that we are helping foster healthy positive communities, online and off. She said, To see how you are propagating hate, whether passively or actively, To see how you are clicking on things that are contributing to an industry that is really toxic for so many of us, especially as parents. And when you know something is wrong, reporting it, it, talking about it, ensuring that the facts are getting out there. I think that is one clear tangible thing that everyone could be doing, she said. The Duchess also said commented on the response to her public support for the Black Lives Matter movement and her calls for people to vote. Meghan and Harry spent lockdown at a rented Los Angeles mansion before moving to a new £8 million home in Santa Barbara. The couple quit their roles as working members of the royal family earlier this year to move to the US and gain financial independence.
Meghan today lost a court battle to block claims she allegedly co-operated with the authors of Finding Freedom. The Duchess is accused of feeding personal information to the writers of the biography to set out her own version of events in a way that is favorable to her. The former actress is currently locked in a privacy battle with the publishers of the Mail on Sunday, suing the newspaper for printing extracts of a letter she sent to her dad Thomas, 76, saying it breached her privacy. However, Associated Newspapers last week claimed Prince Harry's wife had herself leaked details of the letter to the media through friends. Meghan Markle claimed she pays no mind to public, flattery or criticism, about her during a virtual summit on Tuesday afternoon, while also hitting out at the media for, misinterpreting, remarks she has made in order to make them sound more, controversial, or, inflammatory. Despite insisting that she does not focus on anything said or written about her, Meghan defended herself against past controversies, alleging that any time, anything she has said, ends up being inflammatory, it only comes a result of people's interpretation of it. If you listen to what I actually say, it's not controversial, she added. The 39-year-old's comments during the Fortune's Most Powerful Women Summit came just hours after the Duchess of Sussex lost her latest court battle against the Associated Newspapers, publishers of the Mail on Sunday, to prevent the publication from using an explosive biography written about her private life as evidence in its defense case. Meghan is accused of feeding personal information to the writers of the book, Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, to set out her own version of events in a way that is favorable to her, and the latest high court ruling now means finding freedom can and will be used as evidence in the Duchess of Sussex's privacy battle against associated newspapers. Meghan is suing the Mail on Sunday's publishers for printing in February 2019 extracts of a letter she wrote to her estranged father Thomas Markle. She claimed that it breached her deepest and most private thoughts and feelings, and that she had not given permission for the letter to be made public. During her virtual conversation with senior Fortune editor Ellen McGirt however, Meghan insisted that she does not actually focus on anything written about her, be it negative or positive, turning to a quote from artist Georgia O'Keeffe to express her views about flattery and criticism. I have already settled it for myself so flattery and criticism go down the same drain and I am quite free, she quoted, while adding her own sentiments, claiming that she feels, liberated, from opinions about her. And the moment you are able to be liberated from all these other opinions of what you know to be true, then I think it's just very easy to just live with peace and live with authenticity, she said. And that is how I choose to move through the world. The words are at odds with Meghan and Prince Harry's ongoing war against the media, which has seen the Duchess of Sussex repeatedly decry the toxicity that she believes the couple has faced. Shortly before sharing the O'Keefe quote, Meghan once again took the opportunity to lament the spread of misinformation in the media and online, insisting that people have to take it upon themselves to stop contributing to or even clicking on misinformation and report anything that they believe is wrong to ensure that only the facts are getting out there. Megan, who was speaking from the $14 million Santa Barbara home she shares with husband Prince Harry and their one-year-old son Archie, also hastened to warn that people's interactions both on and offline are being negatively impacted by bots and trolls. It's like we live in the future when you're talking about bots and trolls and all of these things, Megan said according to HuffPost. It seems so fantastical, but that's actually the current state of affairs and that is shaping how we interact with each other online and off, and that's the piece that's important. It is not just an isolated experience. It transcends into how you interact with anyone around you and certainly your own relationship with yourself. Megan suggested that the pandemic has provided many people with the opportunity to reset, describing the global COVID-19 outbreak as a moment of reckoning that has spurred a re-evaluation of what really matters. For Meghan, she says her focus has been on husband Prince Harry, 36, and their one-year-old son Archie, explaining that family has been her main priority throughout this time, during which the Sussexes moved out of Tyler Perry's Beverly Hills mansion and into their own California home. For me, it's been amazing to spend time with my husband and watch our little one grow and that's where our attention has been, she said. However, she added that she and Harry have also been working on their new charitable venture, the Archewell Foundation.
Although little concrete information about the organization's work has been made available thus far, Megan explained that the couple is working to figure out how they can be a part of the change of energy that so many people are craving right now, both online and offline.